Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I would am in need of some long tags. So I thought what I might do is use some of this um, craft paper from Michaels and I might do some collaging on it with some book page and then um, you know just put things down and then cut them up and make them into some some tags. So I thought you might want to join me. This is not a big book page so I'm just going to go right ahead and glue the whole thing down. So I hope you guys are all well. We're doing well here. It's quite a lovely sunny day. So, which is excellent. I love these little divots, but I don't know if they're going to stay. Um, and I love the different um, weights of paper. It's absolutely beautiful paper here. If I put that across there, that might be kind of fun. I think I'll do that. And we'll just see see how we go. I guess I'll just do one sheet and we'll cut it up and then see about making the tags up. And this is a fairly large collaging technique. Um, there's lots of folks who do far more beautiful <laughs> collage than I do. Uh, I'm just, I just love using these vintage pages. These are actually from books that are probably about a hundred years old. That's what I'm thinking. Isn't that color gorgeous? So I think I'll put this down here. And you can see where the page was just had some water damage to the sides of the book. Right, you see the discoloration on the side. So this would be a great spot for you to use your uh, glue stick as well. Although I find some of the antiquarian pages, sometimes they're not happy about a glue stick. You know what, I've changed my mind. I want to put it here because I kind of want to have this little kind of divot or chewed out bit of the paper to stay there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's see what else do we have. We could put this one maybe like that. That will fit. I'll even, I mean, I could go so far as to cut that off, but I kind of like it. So we're going to stick with it. It'll probably get, something will come on over top of it. I'm not sure. We'll see. We will see. We're getting a little more sun these days. Well, the intensity of the sun is a little bit more than it's been, which is nice because it's we've still had some cool, some fairly cool days here. Okay, we've got that. Turn it and see what else we have. This looks like a new, new page. that a little bit. And I think that will go nicely. I'm going to have to just get some of this glue off the top, so pardon me for pulling that away. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, if I wasn't doing this on video, I would definitely be using a glue stick here. But like I said, that's mostly because I want to be able to do it fairly quickly. And it's time to clean that again. I just soak it in warm water and that does the trick. Like I take the, the top bit off and then soak it in warm water overnight. And I didn't even have soap in it, if I remember correctly. 
and here we go. Under. Okay, that's a different page. Just put that right there. Perfect. I love seeing the writing on that. Again, it's, not, it's quite unhappy with me. I find because I use it so often, I have to clean that probably about once a week. I leave it soaking in overnight. It's not going to work. I'm really coming on to it. So hopefully that will do the trick. There. Okay. And I'll put the needle back in for now. I apologize for the shadows. I was doing this the other day as well and it's because it's um, quite sunny behind me. It's uh, creating... Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's creating quite a shadow over the top. Okay. So I'm going to get my cutter out and I'm going to cut I think about three inches wide for this first one. I do like to have a nice long tag. And two and a half, I know I have one that's fairly narrow that I have to fill. Two and a half. And let's see. Another two and a half, and then we'll have a wider one. How's that? So these are all going to be nice long tags. They could be flips, depending on how you use them, for sure. And, uh, yeah, so we've got the four of them. And I have some images from book pages. And I like the idea of having something like that. And I'm going to grab, just one second, I'm going to grab some wonderful labels from my toque labels. Um, some green ones, brown ones, maybe a few blue ones. Just to pull them out, we can decide what we want to use. But I think it would be fun to have this here and then have like a label up at the top. Like in here or like that. I think I like it like that. I'm going to put it up there and see if that will do the trick. So if I set it up here, this just makes a really nice background, this, this paper. And of course I'm going to glue this, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to uh, prune it after we put it on, just to see how it, uh, to see if it's going to do the trick. We need, we don't want, we don't want it hanging over the sides of the tag. Because these are tags that are, I have, I think, a pocket or two that I need something long for. Okay, so to put it down here like that. Like so. Oops. And a little bit of glue there. And then we're just going to do a little bit of pruning on the back. You could wait for it to dry before you do the pruning if you want it. If you didn't want to gum up your scissors. But I think that looks so pretty. 
Uh, and I don't think I'm going to, I think I might do just do the corners with around the corners. So let's have that. And let's see what else do I have that I might want to. Ooh, that's lovely. That's lovely. And I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's just I think that would look nice up there. And use whatever labels you have. These are wonderful labels by Took. Uh, Took's craft table. Like that. And I know I want all of this over here, so I'm going to just kind of eyeball where I think the glue has to go. I'm having my thumb on this part where I know I don't need any glue. So yeah, I am um, going to get out this afternoon, a little later on this afternoon, take Miss Midgey for another walk. She does not, she does not tire of a walk, I find. So it's good to get her out there. Um, she's already gone for, I don't know. Uh, I think she was out this morning, I think um, Mr. Journal Adventure <laughs> had her out this morning for about, I think he said it was about six kilometers, so that's a good walk, and yeah, so I'm, uh, it's more a walk for me to be honest with you at this stage. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I have this. These are all from the uh, Garden Eden book. I think I like this side better. And I'm just going to move that glue up there. Uh, and it's just fun to have. Yeah, I think I have that one like that up there. Yeah, they're from a Garden Eden book, and I bought mine on Amazon. It was about $25, but um, I get so many beautiful images from it that um, I haven't bought it for a while, and it's lasted me quite a while. Okay. So I'm just going to get this glue on here. So if any of you... Do you do camping or any of that fun stuff? Um, we used to camp all the time with the, when the kids were younger. But um, we've got, had the privilege of getting a cottage and we've had it for the fourth. This is our fifth season, so we've had it for four years. Just before the you know what started. So that made for a um, lovely, when we could, when we were allowed to travel, was a great spot to visit. Isn't that pretty? That could be my favorite one so far. Okay, and then there's this one. Well, let's see, what do I have? I have that. I think I want something a little longer. Um, that's very pretty. Do I want that side or that side? I think I'm going to want that side. Do you know what? I think I'm going to put the label towards the bottom this time. Oh, there's one that's cut this way. Maybe I'll put it like that. I think I'll put it on the other side because I like, I like here where we've got, remember that chomp in the paper? I'm liking the chomp in the paper. Okay, so just got to kind of guesstimate where, where to glue. I have my hand where I don't want to be cutting. And that'll help me judge where to put things. 
Yeah, I want to keep all of that greenery. Of course, I've glued. I think I've been consistent in gluing more than I had to. If you notice that, of course, you could save that and put that on something else. I, think I will. Yeah, I think I will. I like that a lot. Okay, so I've got all of these. I'll put those away. And what else do we want to add to them? Um, let me see about... Grab a piece of, of um, ticking. And I think I would like to put like put a little piece of ticking like here and just fold it over. I think that would look kind of nice. So I'm putting it underneath the divot that I like so much. <laughs> For a little bit. I was just giving it another texture. I'm just going to get my um, needle. Gosh, there's all kinds of noise. I think they're about to trim behind me too. And I think that looks really nice. I'm so sorry about the noise, guys. Um, this one, I could use it as the topper. What if I put that up there? Actually, I might do it like that and then just fold it over. Create a little tiny topper right there, like that. And we can have a little bit of it uh, go extend beyond that, beyond the top. that. That looks really cute. All right, let me just put this here in here for now. I have these. I don't think I want to use um whoops got a tiny piece of paper that was left over from This down here. I just think that might look kind of nice. Add that just to the just to add a little bit more dimension. A little bit down here. Wonder about a little bit of washi tape on this one. I think I'm going to put piece of washi tape right here. It's not going to go all the way up to where I have the glue, but that's okay. We'll just wipe that off. So there's a little bit of washi there. Could put a little piece down here. Nice washi, that's some Tim Holtz washi. Yeah, I really like these. These have come together well. So let me just, I'm going to round some corners, I think. Okay, let's do this one. And then at the top. Here. I wonder if it's, it's going to let me go in there. Would have been ideal to do that ahead of time, but you know. And round it off. There we go. 
And around the tops here, I'm going to use the other side, the half inch, just, just for something different. And because I've got this over the corner here, I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. So those are the tags. Really simple, uh, fun tags. I may sew around them. I, I'm pretty sure I'll just sew across here anyway. Um, and I think they look really nice. Really beautiful. Super fun and easy tags. Tall tags. Give it a whirl. Apologies for all the noises and for hitting the, the um, tripod. It's been that kind of day. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. Stay well, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.